Welcome to Lily's Artistic Jewelry Design Channel. Today we are going to be making a necklace from Curated Bead Box. And this is going to be an old box that I'm going to be working from. And it's from the Tree of Life from June 23. I did the unboxing one last year. However, I never got a chance to get around to make any design out of it any jewelry design and not ever so today i'm going to be making a jewelry design of it so it is a throwback from june of 23 as we enter into june of 24. so today we're going to be making a necklace from it sit back and relax hopefully you enjoy the video at the end that's when i'll be doing the blessing reading of the day so we can just get straight into the design making. And if you don't mind standing to the end to read the blessing of the day, that would be greatly appreciated. If not, I understand. Okay, so it's called the Tree of Life. And we're going to be... I'm going to be using some of my string from Bees and Stone, which is my gold string. And we're going to be using the pendant from the Tree of Life. And I'm going to be embellishing it with some of my Swarovski crystals from Fountain Mountain Gem. So I'm going to be incorporating a couple of my own um, bees from other sources. Okay, so in this stash we have, the mix is, as you can see, this from Fire Mountain Gem. And I've had it for quite a while. And this is the um, 4 millimeter. What's it? Sonoran Bicones. So we have these different type of colors in there that coordinates with the box. Okay, so I have some of my seed bees in here that we're going to be using. So I'm going to go over with you in the tray. What's all in my tray here? So I have some yellow and orange red looking seed beads. That's in my tray that we're going to be going over. So I can get this just right for you all. Okay, there we go. Okay, shift it right. And then we have the orange, the yellow crackle um, glass beads. And then we have the, these orange one comes from my own stash, which come from Mia. DIY.net that'll be in the description box below. Then we have the orange crackle um, beads from um, Curated Bead Box. So we're going to be using those as well. Then these come from my own stash from the Mia DIY. Okay, and then uh oh, sorry about that. We're going to be using some bead caps from my stash. And we're going to be making earrings with these right here that's going to match the Tree of Life um, pendant. So this is the pendant. And, the, and I got some earring charms to match that from my stash from Mia DIY. Okay, they have nice charms over there that you can buy. And we also have some I have a bell that's put on the necklace. Or some people call it um, a spacer with a loop. So you can hang charms from these as well. So I got those on there. I got some gold jump rings in there as well. And time permits, I will be putting on I will be making rather some um, bracelets and I also have this from bargain bead box I don't know what box it was but the little leaves that I'm going to be incorporated into the necklace as well and 
and I have some gold 24 gauge wiring that I am going to be wiring on the bike cones. So I'm going to be wiring on the bike cones with the wire to embellish the tree. Okay, so I'm going to set that right there. And this is like my little box, my little uh, container of jump ring silver and gold. Okay, and these are my uh, crimp beads that we're going to be using from Beads and Stones. So, without further ado, and this right here, this is it's a memory wire that comes from Bargain Bee Box. I mean, from Curated Bee Box. And I've already put on one thing at the bottom, a loop at the bottom. So we're going to be making a wrap bracelet, if time permits. If not, it'll be in the next video. So as you can see here, I've already did some stringing, some string work. Now go over it with you. I got the yellow and orange reddish looking seed bees. These are um, eight dots. These are eight dot seed bees from my own stash. And there was the orange bead from my own stash from me a DIY. The amber one. The yellow one from Curated. The leaf is from Bargain Bead Box. And there goes some more seed beads in between. And then, you know, we go down further. So I just really alternate the pattern. And as I got down further, I have here the crackled orange bead that is going towards the focal. And as you can see here, I have that bell connector with the loop on it that I'm going to be putting on the um the pendant, the tree pendant with. So before I finish stringing, we are going to work on the tree pendant. So we're gonna put that right there. Everything that's needed for that part part of the project we'll put that right there and we are going to work on the pendant together so we are going to get some wire here let's find some wire because I didn't tie this all up hopefully you enjoyed my other videos that I've made from previous projects if you have any um, comments, suggestions, positive ones are welcome as always. Okay, there we go. Look, we got some right here. I gotta figure out just about how much of this I'm going to need because I have it all tangled up. I really don't know exactly how much I'm going to need. Let's get the wire cutter. So, we're going to cut off some wire here. I'll straighten that wire up later. We got the wire right there. Let's open up the bicones. I'm not sure if I even used this pack before or not.
Okay, so this is how they look. And we're not going to use the blue ones. We're just going to use the other colors. On the pencil. Yes, these are somewhat fall colors. But it's okay. And everything that I make can be found available in my Etsy shop. And that link will be in the box below as well. So let's just put these back up. Use them for another project. So here we have some yellow. We have some amber in here and we also have some reddish oranges color and like the sunset. And we also have some orange in here. So every color that's in the necklace will be right here and be on the pendant. So let's put those right there. First, we're going to come through the very first hole that's right here. I don't know if you can see me pointing at it. But that hole that's right there, I'm going to come through that hole. Let me see if I need to. Well, those are not holes I can see. So, hmm. That would have been nice if they had holes all the way through. I wish I had a drill to drill them holes all the way through. Okay, so, well, let's scratch that idea. I'm using my wire. So let's see how we're going to do this then. Because if you have little holes here, you need some rhinestones. We're going to need some rhinestones. Flat backs would be better. Flat foil backs would be better. knew for sure that I was going to be able to wire a wrap and that was going to look so pretty okay I'm just trying to see how can I get them in there Let's see if I can get them to stay like that. That would be nice. I mean, gluing them, and I do not like doing a lot of gluing on my jewelry like that. Because I might want to change the design. That's one thing you got to make sure that it's going to be, you want it to be permanent fixture on the jewelry. And that you don't want to go back sometime later on down the road and change the design on your pendants. So I tell you what, we're gonna leave it like that for right now. We just we're not gonna even worry about the bicones being on it. It would have looked nice if I could have wire wrapped them.
but we're going to keep it moving. That's something to think about. Okay, but until then, we're just going to finish up the other side of this with the wire wrap. Not wire wrap, but beading. So we're just going to finish beading on the rest of this. I have my beads in front of me. Let's move those out the way for right now. Guess we gotta do the other half. What I got is I got a seed bead that's in this bill because I don't want the bill resting on the wire to protect the wire. I put a seed bead in there. So now we're going to need, let's not even just be reaching like that. I'm going to put everything right here within my reach. So we're going to put on the amber bead on the other side of that spacer or bell. Then we're going to put on let's see put on a bead cap then we're going to put on a crackle orange crackle bead another bead cap to go on the other side of that bead. Okay, and then we're gonna need a seed bead. spacer leaf okay so that has to go downward so point the pointed of the leaf downward and then another seed bead on the other end of that then we're going to need a yellow crackle another seed bead let's make it a yellow one this time mm -mm. come on seed bead Okay. 
focus up on there. I don't think that one has an opening. Okay, look, I'm gonna have to use my bead remember on that one. Okay, yellow seed bead. Then we're gonna need amber bead. Seed bead. Orange shiny bead. These are glass beads. Then we're going to need seed bead. Okay. So I the seed bead, then we're gonna need another spacer bead, another leaf spacer bead, point it downward. Another seed bead. Then another seed bead. Let's make it a yellow one. Amber bead. Seed bead. Make it an orange one. An orange shiny glass bead. Seed bead. See, that's kind of blurry. Then another leaf bead. We made a mistake over here, y'all. I think we made a mistake. So I had to take those off. All the hidden stuff there. So we do need the seed bead, though. We need the seed bead. made a mistake there. Okay, now we need see what I'm looking at here it has to be mimic on the same side. Let's just turn my trigger off. As I drop beads. Let's just move all this up. Because this is my center. Do 
you know I'll go on. Then we're going to need a leaf. Then we're going to need a big crackle, big orange crackle bead, which you're going to have to put on the bead cap. Then the orange crackle. Then a bead cap. Then orange bead. Get on there. Okay. Got to make sure everything is lining up just right. my center and that's the second crackle now I need another leaf so we need another leaf going downward we're gonna need Orange seed bead. Then we're going to need the yellow crackles, yellow shiny crackle. Then we're going to need a yellow seed bead. Then we're going to need ember bead. Then we're going to need orange seed bead. Then we're going to need orange shiny glass bead. Then we're going to need a yellow seed bead. Then we're going to need another leaf. I like these little shiny leaf beads. Then we're going to need another seed bead. Another yellow bead. Another shiny glass crackle bead. Then we're going to need another seed bead. Then we're going to need amber shiny glass bead. See that little shine on it? Has a little iridescence on it. Okay, then we're going to need a seed bead. Then we're going to need the orange bead orange glass bead then we're going to need a seed bead let's see here because we're lined up and I think the uh, okay so right there we're going to need another leaf bead after we put on 
a glass seed bead because these are glass seed beads. Okay, that one. Let's put that one to the side. Put a leaf bead on. Facing downward. Then another seed bead. Then another yellow crackle. I also want to welcome all my subscribers. Thank you for being the patronage of mine. The subscriber of mine, I greatly appreciate it. More than you know. And if there's any new viewers, welcome to my channel. My name is Lele. Hope you enjoyed the video. And if this is something that you enjoy watching, please hit that thumbs up to give it a like. Also, subscribe to the channel. Join Lele's channel. I have a lot of good things in store for this channel. And also, if you don't mind, you can leave a comment in the comment section below. Whether it's to say hello. And hit that notification button so the next time I drop a video, you'll be notified. Okay, now we're just going to start stringing on just the seed piece. So now we need... I'm bringing this over here now. So now we need orange. Yellow. Come on, yellow. Orange, reddish looking color. I like that color. Yellow. And these are not plastic seed beads. These are glass seed beads that are lined. I got these a long time ago from Michaels. No, from Hobby Lobby. I got these a long time ago from. Hobby Lobby, I get a lot of my seed beads and stuff from Hobby Lobby's and Michael's and Joann's. I have quite the collection of seed beads. Okay, now we need a yellow. So, that, that's, no, that's like an amber, almost amber yellowish. Then we need an orange one. Another yellow one. Orange one. A yellow one. Okay, and we need orange one let's get them on I'm just gonna keep stringing these seed beads on until I reach the amount that I need doing seed be string seed beads can be a little tedious but they save you a, a lot of money by using them. They come in handy. Okay, I need another yellow one. I gotta make sure I leave myself enough string, enough wire to do my crimping. 
So let's see here. Let's move these out of the way that goes in there. Let's just put them bike homes back until I can figure out how to put them. So they just might go on a bracelet. I don't know. We're going to put them back in here. Just gonna scoop them up so they can go back where they belong. Cause that would have looked so pretty if I could have got them on that tree. I might just drill a hole for that tree until then the tree would just be a bare tree okay now let me just do some measuring here see where I'm at Okay, so I got just two more sea beads to go. Okay, that's good. Two more sea beads. So I need a yellow. And the orange one. Okay, there we go. So now what we're going to do is we're going to Make sure everything is lining up, looking right. And it do, that's going to be a pretty necklace. Got to make sure everything is lined up right. Okay, something look a little bit off. Yep, right here. I didn't put my orange one on. Uh oh. Didn't put the orange one on. So I almost made that mistake. I didn't put the orange one on. Okay. That's why you always check your work before you close up your necklace. Or close up your project always check it because you just might have made a mistake like I just did so this should take just a hot minute for me to string back on these seed beads check once check twice never know you made have made a mistake then you have to cut the wire and start all over again. So we're just restringing these seed beads back on here. Okay, so. Let's check it again. Line it up. Okay, see? Once I lined up, I see something is off. Something is off here. So let's straighten this out. You want to make sure your work is even. Put 
push everything down but let's see where I'm at everything should line up okay Everything should be lining up. Orange, yellow, amber, orange. Orange, amber, yellow, leaf. Orange, amber, yellow, leaf. Orange, amber, leaf, yellow, orange, amber. Okay. We are somewhat lined up. Hmm. Let's straighten this, this one up. Gotta straighten my strings up here. Cause everything needs to be lined up. Okay, take two off of this one. Pull it down. So now what I'm doing is checking my work to make sure that these beads are lined up. Hmm. And I'm looking up here and something is off over here. Okay. Something is off on my other string with my seed beads. That's why I say always check your work. Right there is where I caught my mistake at. Right there with my seed beads. So we're just going to fix that. Yellow orange, yellow, orange, yellow. Now let's see. Now everything should be just right. Everything looks good now. So now we can close one side up. Always, always check your work. Now we're going to put on some print bead, and jump rings, and the closure. Not just right here, it's a split ring. This is come from off a previous project. Yeah, 
get some. Help it do this. There we go. Had to bring out the heavy duty and the heavy duty end of cutting. My thing. Give me just one minute. Okay, we're gonna finish this up. We're gonna listen to the crimp beads here. I don't need all of them out. And we're gonna use some clam shells. And a gold lobster call glass. So I'm gonna put the clam shell on there. Gonna get a crimp bead. Okay, so we got an itty bitty one. We're gonna use two of them. Uh -uh. I don't even know where that one went. It's so small. Okay. I'm just going to open it up some so I can close them up in here. So we got two crimp peas down up in there. I don't know if y'all can see that. But I have two small crimp peas. Close them up as tight as I can get them. You gotta make sure they on there. Closed up real tight on there. Otherwise, you're gonna have a problem, and your wire gonna slip off. We'll probably also do some good to glue it in there. Let's see if it'll come out. Okay, let's close it up. Let me just close it up with my hand first a little bit. I'm going to leave a little bit of tail there. I do that just in case I have to have something to hold on to to keep it from doing that see I just came loose that clamshell broke So now we're going to have to see if we can save this necklace. Mistakes like that will happen. That's why I really didn't want to cut all that tail off. But it can be saved. So now what I'm going to do. 
just move some wire down from that end. That's why you always leave yourself some wire. Because now I have to move it down some. It's all up in your face, sir. Let's try this again. Let's get some better clam shells. Yeah, okay, I went and got some better clam shells. Let's try this over again. That one couldn't be. I want at least two in there because it's so tiny. Put that one right above that one. that one down. Okay. Put our clamshell in there. And then we're going to close it up. So that's sticking out. Okay. Then we're going to cut that off. Roll that down. Okay, now we got that in on there. Move these out the way. Let's 
So now I have enough right there. Okay, so this. Drop that down in there. Pick up these little bitty print beads. And let's just pray that all goes well. So I might have to open it up just a little bit. Just so I can get down up in there. And close them up. Oh my god, they're so tiny. I want these in tweezers. So yeah, I'm gonna have to open this up just a little bit so I can get down up in there. Uh-oh. Mm. Okay, we got the closures on there. We got the clam shells on there. So now we're going to put the jump rings on. And the lobster car closure. Took me a minute to get that clamshell on there. Okay, and then we're going to open up this jump ring because I have a safety on there. Close that up bright. Okay, that's on there. Now let's get the pendant on there. And we're going to call it good till I figure out what to do with this with this, with this tree. So we got the jump ring on there. We're gonna put it on here. So 
there goes a finished piece, ladies and gentlemen. Our necklace. Let me get things cleaned up and you can see the finished product. There is our finished piece of the Tree of Life necklace from Curated Bead Box from June of 23. A throwback piece. Hopefully, I enjoyed the video. Finished product. You all have a blessed day and see you next time when we make the earrings and the bracelet. Be blessed and be a blessing to someone else. Bye bye.